Hello, everyone. Welcome back to with the Cecily and Such live tutorial tonight. Happy Monday! Hope everyone have a great Monday. Um, I always keep myself stay really nice and busy, and I'm so excited today. We're gonna share as more Valentine nails. If you missed my live video, we we'll passed last Saturday. Hello, hi Instagram. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you missed my live video on our uh, past Saturday, I have done quite a few different cute nails. Hello, Chi Chang, how are you? I did quite a few nails, really fun. And um, we did like a neon pigment. Also, let me, oh, oops, sorry. We did, let's see which one did we do. We did quite a few of them. We did the neon pigments, and also we did, um, that's a lot of, oh, Chan for Foy, and we did the heart and the leaves. We did so many different ones. So if you miss it, you can head over to, oh, and then here is Liquid Gun Powder. It's the newest collection from uh, Chizo Nail Arts Powders, ombre with uh, dramatic glitter. So if you miss it, please head over to Facebook to watch full tutorials and also on YouTube. Uh, videos will be up soon. Hey Chi, how are you? Chi Chang, happy new year to you. Hey the guys with the nails. Hi Park, Parku, how are you? Rebecca, Kay Val, hello, how are you? Thank you so much. I've been lovely. Hi, Joey Beauty Boutique. Thanks so much for tuning in. And it's just for you, just the first time tuning in. Welcome to Glitter Cecilia and Such live tutorial. And then it just is one of really cool thing, a tip and trick I would like to share is that um, the tips holder right here. I got it from just a hardware store. You can find it really easy at uh, Lowe's. Home Depots and all hardware store at your local area and then you can put like 26 different tips together it looks so cute and you can stand it on your station and if you would like to share with your clients um, or you can put if you have a label uh, the label makers you can put it surprise in here it depends on the salon location for instance if there's nails you want to uh, price the clients like uh, five dollars you can put five dollars or ten dollars or fifteen dollars however you are uh, price that for your clients so I'm so excited today is gonna do is really cool thing and um, and so another really cute cute and a nice thing today we got a couple of um, uh, announce as well and also we have our one of our ambassador Vicky Jensen's will go live right after we so she had a such a great idea for crystal placement she put it over in like um, almost 30 years of experience for uh, crystal placement and she had such a really great idea tonight so right after that if you haven't tuning in with uh, or if you haven't followed her just check her out at uh, Vicky Jensen and you can able to check out a lot of different designs that she is going to do as well uh, can you send that to Vicky right there Space. No. Great. So also, if it's here, some good thing for Hi, Lishe. Hello. How are you? Um, it's for some cool, some cool news. We are in highly demanding, looking for great uh, passions nail technician who would love to work in a fashion week in New York, which is this season in spring season in 2020. So if you are interested in, uh, please DM us with your full names and your email address, and we will have the um, team will contact you regarding to the fashion week in New York. So it's gonna learn so much experience from become a uh, working backstage with all the models and learning all that cool tip and tricks for the fashion week in New York so if you are interested in uh, don't hesitate to DM us um, is we need it as soon as possible so we can send you information so how you can able to uh, be a part of the team so hey Vicky how are you 
Vicky is she's right here. So if you haven't followed her, uh, please you know follow this lady Vicky Jensen. She's gonna share with us really cool tip and trick in a little bit right after I'm going live. So I'm so excited and see what she's gonna come up with. Let me make sure that is you can all see my nails. And I'm gonna put that on the side. If you wanna see it later, we can show it again. Um, what is that? Oh. Yeah, just cute little guys pom pom. I just want to show you before we start. I have one in my, so I'm gonna pop right here in my. But I will take it out because I am going to do some work to to share with you. So I am not gonna mess it up. Buy and get it wet. So we got right here some really cute red nails. Is this one? Oh, this one is not. Okay, Matt. Let's do some cute nails for uh, this time, and uh, we are going to do some cute fusioning. How about that? That's one right there. And then we'll put right on the crystal placement, just, uh, just a little bit. So let's do some fusionings fun for today. And it's something that if you haven't seen that uh, fusioning, it's just one step and fusioning. Uh, on Saturday, I did have that video. It's really cool, fun. And today, I'm sharing with you is something different. It doesn't have to be necessary. It's pink, but you can do two colors of fusioning. It's really pigmented, and you just need feel dab on, feel drop, and it's create the look so easy, simple, with no like stress about it. So I have this right on me right here is majestic. So it's like kind of a purple colors. Maybe, or would you like to see some pink though? I did have some good pink colors. Oh, look at that, I got that colors, Bodo. Maybe I'll do that once for Valentine. Let's check this guys out. Hey, Mylene. Hello. How are you? Hi, Sophia. How are you, Em? Hi, Legionnaires. Aquilas. Hello. How are you? Never Beyond. How are you? Okay, I'm going to tap some. I am really enjoy with that fusion. It's so easy. And like if you are first time or you are beginners, you don't have to worry about this one to how you can achieve it looks really nice. And as on Saturday we have really cool a lot of really nice questions asking how you can avoiding from your fusioning to be bleeding. Uh, I was saying that technique is less is more. So the more you tapping it using a crystal clear solution the more you're gonna see your color to be bleeding. So it's less and more, just control it. Like I will show you in just a second. I am going to have my crystal clear. Just, if you need to get one color, if you get one color, you want to use that crystal clear because it's the right ratio for you to blend them really nice. And usually I have a piece of paper on my side right here. And I am going to tap my brush, so then that's why my brush will not contaminate the colors to the next colors. Yeah, just just you see how you just blend it, and then I'll wipe the brush off. It looks like it's really cool though and just blend them. And if you want more, you can completely tap it more on the side. Yes, definitely come from the same eye. Oh, Lily, you're gonna be? Yeah, I do it. Okay. You hear me, I do it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, every day I go. Oh, Lily's gonna share some tip and trick. Great. I want to make Jennifer for it. Jennifer, okay. 
So you can see that the technique that I did it tap, tap, tap is super easy, but you can see that I can create the vents is really easy without like too much, like if you blend it too much, then you feel your colors start bleeding. But I just doing enough that give me a really good look of it. Oh, it looks good, Mimi. <laughs> so, if you're happy with this, you can. Or if you want to create more, you can go back. This is really super simple and easy for all beginner. I'm thinking do with some painting of the gel painting. I will do some maybe some gold painting on this one. Great. If I'm happy with this, I'm not going to mess around too much with this because less is more. If you mess it more, you're going to make your colors bleed more. So I am going to use one of my really cool gel painting is Golden Touch. Should I do gold or should I do silver? I can also do a chanfer foil. This is really cute one though. Maybe silver, I like silver. Let's do silver then. Because it's, you can do red or you can do silver or you can get gold. I think a shimmery silver. Shimmering silver, so I am going to use this one. And if you are um, first time tuning in, you can check out my live video or past few video. I did chant before using to create the veins. But this one I want to show you another option. You can do it with the gel painting. It's really much fun as well. So you're gonna using just a little Wanna make sure I say hi. Hey Lynn. Mylene. Mylene, you said go. So I didn't catch you go though. I can do another one and go. Oh, Vicky go live later. Let's see if Vicky can create that and then doing a go. She is so talented. If you get chance to follow with her and connect with her, that'd be great. Because she will share so much cool tips and tricks with us. And I'm gonna do this one. And I would do just a little bit, just here enough. I don't want to get too much that it kind of cover my marble ink. Marlene, how are you, sweetie? Hope everyone have a great Monday. I oh, will keep myself busy as usual. If you're happy with this, you can pop this guys into the lamb. I'm just checking because see what I can able to do more. And if you're happy with this and put this into the lamp for about 60 seconds. Different look that you can do. You can do a, the red as well. I think red will look good, which is we did it on last Saturday. Last Saturday or last Thursday, we have that really beautiful look. 
let's see this one but I did this one it's burning hearts colors which is um, this colors the number seven uh, marbling which is this right this guy right there I'm so excited today so we have so many to cover and tonight Vicky was sharing some really cool is so excited so don't forget to tune in how would you do this on a chrome look all right great question never beyond uh never be your babe uh thanks so much for the question how would you do this on a chrome look on the chromes if you want to do like i mean a, on the top of the chromes right so you probably would do it you're going to do a matte top coat on the top of your chrome. So you have to matte them first, then you're going to use a fusion ink and you do create the same look, but you have to have a matte on first. And this one I have a matte on. I have a two color of like kind of a pink and I have the uh, matte top coat, which is I using this matte top coat. It's really cool. Is a sway look. So it doesn't look like it's, it's one after you key it is no, um, you don't have to remove any tag fee is this like is no wipe so it stay really sway matte so then when you apply your uh, fusioning or a gel painting on it's grip really really well so if anyone is like this do you want to look like this in a matte finish or you want to do this in the shiny finish i can do either way you can do it it's like shiny no wipe top coat or we can do a matte top coat we're doing a lot of shiny though so see what you think Hello, hello, Bella. Pink chrome. Go. Oh, we have so interesting. We have we did uh go we did a uh, red one last Saturday, and we did like a pink as well. So this time we're doing some silver, and then next we're gonna go back to others. Silver is good too. Oh, thank you so much. One I've been lovely. Is that right? Thank you so much. Oh crap, I keep touching it. Connect with me. Oh, uh, Vicky Jensen. Yep, she's gonna go live in a little bit later. Hello, how are you, Miss Tiff? Uh, you're always busy. I'm gonna go ahead and doing um no wipe top coat, the shiny look. And also is uh matte it looks good too, do you think? It's really great. Pop in the lamp for about sixty seconds and this one will be really nice, completely done. I really like the look though. So this is, hi, Miss Corina, how are you? So this is great for beginners. There's no like stress about how you can keep adding on the um, fusioning and they keep bleeding your colors. So the color is so pigmented. You don't need a whole lot to just doing a really nice fusion look, like which is the marbling look. So if you just follow exactly what I share with you, you are never gonna go wrong with this, I promise. You'll be seeing it's so amazing how different result came out. Of course, the fusioning, the marbling, when you're doing for clients, it's none of them are exact identical the same. So when you sharing with your customer, you start doing a service for them, you just make sure you explain it to them. They are uh, not identical. You can, might be able to get some similar look, but they're not exact 100%. So they won't be like upset when they see the nails does not look the same all the time. So for all of you who are asking a lot of questions from us, and this is the collections for uh, lips and the, the lip and the heart, which is in a collection of Chan Fu Foy number five and number three, uh, which is I did the look, this look last uh, Saturday, the heart and then the lips. So you can see in the Chan Fu Foy, in a section of Chan Fu Foy, uh, number five and number three. So just for your information, this nail is so beautiful done. So much better. Great.
All right, so let me move on to the next one. I'm so excited because we get so much to do and it's so much fun. Let go in some crystal placement, yeah? Or Chan for Foy. Chan for Foy is really fast, quick, and simple and easy. It's great for to you to share with your customer and it's something that you can do really quick and fast. Here I have Valentine Chan for Foy. Don't forget to tune in and I'll follow Vicky tonight. She's gonna share some really cool. I'm so excited to can't wait to tune in with her live video. This is really cool. It is in the collection of number 24 with all new year's butterflies. And then you're gonna find some really cute um like a Valentine's look along with the uh, with the butterflies and look at that, it's super cute that I have. I have this one the last time I did, and you if you uh get chance to watch one of my live video back in a couple weeks and I did this and look at it chan for completely so I'm gonna using that and oh my goodness it's so cute and I am going to using one part of this but before that I am going to apply the premiums I hold chan for foy this will able to transfer completely after 30 seconds so it's up to you if you want to do completely uh, whole nails or you can do half of the nails is really it's up to you however you would like so I'm gonna apply and tie the nails all right make sure that Pop in the lamp for about 30 seconds. Make sure I cover everything. Maybe I'll do this part. It's so cute. It's like, you are my diamond. And this one is super cute. You are my kite of love. And then this one is to my heart with the keys. It's so cute. And this one is like a two rings, I guess, love story. You can do a whole piece of it or you can cut a little piece and you can layer them on the top of each other. I think it would be great. You are my diamond. You call my kind of love. It's so much fun. How fun it does. Let me see in that one. So I get a little bit of fusion ink here. Hey Sarah, how are you sweetie? Hope you have a great Monday. All right, so let me see. You are my diamond. I can do right the heart right there. Put diamond my ball. Right here. I get butterfly right in the middle. Not middle of the nails, but right in the middle of the top of the nails. And make sure you press it firmly. How are you, Sarah? Love you, beautiful. How did you make the nail design holder? Oh, we'll show in a little bit. Uh -huh. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna um I'm gonna share with you in just a second. Just bear with me, and I'm gonna make sure that everything is pressed firmly. Look at that! Just come right off. And if I like to dress this whole piece, it chamfers. I am gonna using some crystal to add this one, uh, some crystal on. I'm so excited because I get some colors. I want to add it on. Okay. 
I'm using condensed glue gel if you asking or if you've been really tired of worry about your crystal placement is coming off and you are having a hard time and you're frustrated because your customer loves it but then they're afraid of they are not gonna get the crystal stay so that is the guys that you want to like check them out this is the trifecta and it's so great idea that you have a condensed glue gel it work for condensed which is it work for a 3d um, crystal flat back and as well as charm and chains and all the accessory on the nail so I will show you step by step to how to do this it's really simple really easy and also you get a jar of a crystal all color mix there condensed glue gel thank you Lily mm -hmm. I'm gonna using just a good generous amount and gently apply all and tie the nails because I'm gonna add all the crystal all over with some accents in that. So for for all of you who are the first time working with condensed glue gel is is really a thick density. So if you would like to just um easy like the best way, the easiest way to just blend them really nicely. You don't need a whole lot, but you need to blend them so then that way they stay nice and um even and you don't want to apply too much because it's too much you're gonna flood your crystal but then too little then it's not gonna be enough for your crystal i am going to using my no wipe top coat in the top of my unclear condensed glue gels uh, do you can you get me some red crystal Oh, maybe I can do I can do some no you know what I'm gonna do some of this you don't need it so no Kia yet I am going to using my uh, some of my crystal thank you Lily and to dress my butterflies oh, let's see You don't have to. I just I just mess around with that. I put the bead to make where he's uh, her antenna. Look, he's so cute. Look, super cute. Can you see? Yeah. Hey, Vicky. Vicky, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What you gonna come up with your cute design? So lady connects with Vicky. She's gonna go live later tonight. And then um you are crystals. So I am gonna place that just right here. It looks cute. You don't need a whole lot, but just a couple of crystal will make it look so different. I think I'm like that. If you're happy with this, you just pop this in the lamp for about 60 seconds. It looks so cute though. <gasps> that is super cute butterflies. There's so many different butterflies and then this, the section is butterfly. It's so adorable. I can't wait to share with you. Like this is so adorable. It looks so. It looks like you are painting in one stroke. Like um, if you have great the skill for painting in one stroke, this is a blast. But if you're not, then uh, no stress about it. We can uh, having fun with this. But then you always have to tell your clients that gonna be in, like a chunk for and not like painting. But it looks really cute. I can't wait to share with you every single one of them. They are newest like butterflies look, so it's really cute, and we can like combine with crystals and a chamfer for to make it looks really uh, pretty. So let me see. I'm sorry. Let me organize it so you lady won't feel it too messy. Buying, I'm buying product for beginner. What product do I need? Including on, uh, um. 
if I'm buying a product for beginner, are you um, asking your products for the crystal placements, right? Um, one I've been lovely. So if for a crystal placement, I really recommend this one. This is a tool that you really want to have on your crystal size. It's gonna be a crystal best friend. You can apply any of this with your crystal charm, chains, and everything. It's had everything for you. Look, this one is a condensed glue gel, and it comes with condensed glue gel, no wipe top coat, precision glue, and also you have one jar of the mix mega mix all different crystals. So oh, that is a good for you to like start with, and then have a crystal, and then when you start playing a uh, you know like have a branching it out you get an idea of how you're doing your crystals then you can place with that and if you are doing a chance for foils which is really great it's perfect for beginners as well and if you get one of this one of this is a collection of chan for foil there's an option for you to buy anything a chan for foil gel with your chan for foil of um uh sticker do you want to get one of this chan for foil either this chan for foil gels or this chan for four gels. This is a premium here for 30 seconds. This is 60 seconds. So it's really it's up to you. You can pick either one of the great and with one of this collection. They will give you an option in the our website link in the bio. So then you can do that and you get even get one collection first and then check it out and then you really like it and you see how easy it is and then you follow the step by step I share. You can get more different uh, products as well because then you want when do you get your foil? You can uh, you can look it up in our our products is from the website Glitz Accessory and such, and you can see the link to shop or link to check out the products uh, in the bio. So if you go into the page and you see in the bios that link you to the website, and what line should I get to the kids now? It's really a pen. We're using it right now. We're using a Kira Sky, but you can get Oli, you can get a C and D. Is I would stay with the standard all um standard of the lights, but then some of other nail techs are using different sorts of lights. So you just have to make sure that when you uh, using a different lights, you make sure you can play with the product and see how it cure. Okay, so if it doesn't cure properly. Like if the condensed glue gel, you apply exactly the same, the technique, and then the precision glue and the no wet top coat and the crystal are coming off because it probably the light wasn't, you know, it didn't cure properly. So the light, the light, the LED lights is important as well. So we're using a Kira Sky right now. Can you write that below quickly so I can screenshot for the website of the company you mean? Yeah, you're using that. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna including for you. Absolutely, one I've been lovely. Um, we're gonna do it for you, designer. Tai Tai, hello, how are you? So now, as I finish this, it looks so. Look at that! It's how simple. Create the really simple look. You, I I said you don't have to get whole pieces of it. You can just trim your butterflies off from this, um, and then you can trim anything like, and then you can layer them. This is a nice about this is you can just cut a little piece of your different butterfly. If you want to do a whole butterfly of this, you can do this and you put the heart on. You can trim them. They give you enough space that you can trim them. And here's a great thing that I like about it is give you enough space so then you can cut, you know, around with each of your image right here. Or like me, I just would, uh, between that space, I can add on crystal or some of my beads and charms in it. So I really like that. Either Either way, it's really gonna turn out nice. So I am gonna using, here is one of um, the tools that in the kit to Fecta because we have a high demands for that. So that's why, because you asked for it, that's why we have it. So I am gonna using the needle size, they are dual and I'm gonna using this end to squeeze just a little bit. Like if you can see me, just squeeze just a little bit. And then see that? You don't want to do too much because if you want too much, it's gonna flutter your crystal you just want to feel them first. If you feel scratchy, then you're gonna squeeze just a little bit enough amount so then they will blending in and they feel all the gap in the edges. So that's why the clients, if they, well, of course they're wearing their nails, they have to uh, do a normal activity every day, doing your normal things with their lifestyle. They don't have to worry about catching on their hair, your clothes or anything else. So I'm gonna feel it's really like scratchy right here in edges. I just gentle, gently squeeze it in 
I do not want to do too much then it's gonna flood up my crystal but then I just just feel it enough so then that's why it's gonna seal around the edges of the crystals so it looks great because I sealed them really good and I'm gonna pop this guy into the lamp for about 60 seconds did you able to um, comment on mm -hmm. great close out and I'm, I'm gonna close this don't forget to keep the red cap back on because it helps from a clocking and a prevent from clocking on the, the needles and if you need to using like a smaller area you can also using your a brush size so this is the other end and just using a tiny little like on oh, my nails have been like a two weeks good two weeks now and sometimes I edit on the beads and I just like oh I just want more beads on this I'm missing it so I just Added some more is precision glue. I would not using it for the bigger one because bigger one need a condensed glue gel, so it will hold tight in one place. But it's a, for smaller SS3 and SS4 crystal. And then if you needed to do the halos or like along with the key core, you can use the on the other end. So it's really convenient and it's really compact and uh, do a lot of for you. This guy are completely done. We did two nails, really nice and oh, I like that. They kind of, they kind of like, go well together though. Great, and I did that colors, which is, I did this, the bulk dolls. So cute. All right, let's see another nails. Let's do one of really massive, uh, cute, uh, crystal placement, okay? Uh, did you able to comment on that? Mm -hmm. But I don't see it here though, did they? Oh, yeah, and uh, once Ivan's lovely, I put the website right there for you. You are very welcome, our pleasures. Thank you so much for a great question though. Please do not hesitate to ask any question because that's why I'm here to, I um, would love to able to uh, answer any question, assist you with any question you might have. Don't hesitate because no question is small questions because if you don't ask, I don't know how I can able to share with you. So I have this one, it's too cold and Sweet Lily did this for me and you're gonna start seeing her live soon and is I'm excited about that as well. And um, I was thinking, would you like to see this with Chrome? It's gonna be cool though. I can do this one in Chrome now. It is so freaking cool. And here's a tip and trick with using the Chromes. A lot of you will have maybe it's a little bit of um, troubleshooting that if you're doing a chrome it's not rubbing it on like evenly so I'm going to using a no wipe top coat and I'm applying all inside the nails but I only doing it for is 15 seconds uh, and tie the nails great 15 seconds please Rebecca, how do I make the nail designer holder? That's, you can get it from um, this one. This one, uh, designer, if you if you would like to get this tip that is available on our website, link in the bios, but if you holder this one, you get it from Lowe's or Home Depot, sweetie. You can get that and it's a doorknob. I really love to share it and every time I will share it on the live video so the all ladies can get that and like you can get any different kind they have so many different designs and you can put the uh, if you have a label makers you can put the price for the clients for instance this one at five dollars this one at ten dollars this one at fifteen dollars it's really depend on your salon location so this one you can get and each of them will hold like 16 to 26 uh, the cute swatch right here so you can get it from Home Depot, Lowe's, or the hardware store close to your local Walmart or Target. I think they might carry it as well. It's really excited and it's so cute. So if your salon um, 
decorated as the like an antique look you can using they have a, some cute like antique look uh, for the doorknob you can also get that wells I'm gonna use this I'm gonna just tap it on <gasps> they're so gorgeous Usually I apply the chromes right away when it's still warm. Just get out from uh, the uh, LED lights. So then it's gripped really well for my chromes right here. So nice. I don't know how is your end, how well you can see it, but my end is really beautiful so cute see my end is so gorgeous that's all you need is you just need just a little bit you don't need a whole lot and I am going to dust the excess powder with my cute little unicorns my cute unicorn is she's so cute I really like her and I broke her horns right here I have to glue it back <laughs> But she's so cute. She's so convenient, so compact. Does all of my pigments off for me. And then I am going to use a condensed glue gel. So you can layer them. Like if the clients have a chrome and they want a crystals on. So you can layer them by applying the condensed glue gels on the top. Without um, worry to, you know, affect the chrome. Because this condensed glue gel will hold your chrome pigments and stay in one place. I'm gonna apply it, blend them evenly. You don't need a whole lot, unless you're using a 3D crystal. But if you don't, you just need to like uh, get use just generous amounts. You don't want to use too much because then it's gonna flood your crystal. I'm just wipe my brush up just in case that you ask for. I'm wipe it up, all the excess glue, and then cap it on because I do not want it to get hard and here. And no wipe top coat right on the top. Can I get the tray of the crystal back here? Okay. Using a floating technique, the black uh, tray crystal right there, please. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Lily. I'm gonna start playing with this. Oh, they're so cute. You know, it's a tip and trick for you to do all this. There are no wrong or right to do this. As long as you place your beautiful crystal tight together, they always come out nice. So do not hesitate to do it. I'm gonna place them down here and I'm gonna do one up there. It's so excited. Thank you so much, Lily. And the best way to doing it to place them next to each other the the closer the tighter you do the better your crystal gonna look so it looks like it's connect together without gaps and space and then I'm gonna do down here or up here I mean and then If you are first time uh, tuning in our live video, welcome to our live video brought to you by Glitz Accessory and such. And my name is Nancy. I'm so excited to share with you every night except Sunday night. So every night I'm so excited because we have so many different content we would love to share with you. This is for all beginners as well as for the advanced. You're all more than welcome. Please. Um, Join us, and if you have a question, please bring it up. 
we are gonna share together I'm so excited every night because we has so much to share oh that is super cute though like you, you double dress it up and if you are like completely happy with this you can pop this guy into the lamb but if you want to dress more uh, can I get the piece of paper? If you don't want to dress them more, you can. I'm just wipe on the both sides to make sure that is nice and it doesn't have just a lot of like extra glue. I'm gonna add some cute beads between the crystals. So if you ask like where is the best spot or place at the beads um, and you should do it right between the crystal or you don't have to do anything as long as you place them tight together you can uh, skip the parts but then if you want them to look like a jewelry it's gonna be a good uh, you know it's like a, a place to add them on and we got an opportunity to see so many beautiful nails from all of you thank you so much for sharing it with us we really really um, excited to see that and thanks for sharing so then we can able to feature you and share with a lot of different nail techs so then you all can connect together i believe you know in our community to being really nice and professional community is to sharing is important because then we got to sharing and learn from each other this looks so cute like if you don't want it you don't have to but if you, you can see that the difference between you add some on, it just make it looks like cute. It looks like a jewelry. But if you don't want to, like if the client says, oh, I don't want any beads, no, totally fine. You can just go right with the crystals only. But if you want to add them on, you can. Can you zoom a little bit? I'm going to add um, some here. Between the crystal, I'm continue to add it on. Uh, as I say, you can just completely skip it, or you can add them on. It's really I'm gonna add some of them on, and I want to add some crystal on as well. I'm so excited every night. Like I have so many of different content I would love to share with you. Also, Vicky will go live right after. So we're gonna finish this nails, and then Vicky will share with you something so 7 30 8 30 yes so then she's gonna go like right after so i'm so excited vicky are you ready i'm so ready to see your beautiful work and she is go by under vicky jensen's v i c k i with the i instead of y and you can't uh connecting with her and follow her and she's such a really great um, a nail artist. I really adore a lot of her work. She's got so many of great ideas for it. I learned so much from her. She has so many ideas. She wants to share tips and tricks how you can do and it's great for beginners. If you get a um, chance to go to different trick show, we there and then Vicky was there and then she's always come up with some great idea and share with all of us. So. Thank you, Vicky, for your sharing. It is so cute. And I want to do a part of top and then the part of on the end because I would like to show off the chrome. You can dress them up completely. It looks great. The reason I want to show to do a spade like that so then I can show the chrome effects. So I'm gonna wipe up on the side to take off like the extra glue gel and the top coat to make it blend nice and then my shape of the nails will stay nice and pretty. Now I'm gonna pop this guy into the lamp. If, um, yo, V-I-C-K-I, painted by purple, yes, sweetie. Yep, I did say Vicky Jensen, yep. Great, so if you're happy with this, then we will add this, pop this into the lamp. Great. 
looks so beautiful oh i really like that i'm gonna adjust this because some of them shifted it when i was doing on the lower but it looks really good to me all right can you put this in the lamp for about 60 seconds for me please oh i missed one beat so i'm gonna put it right now great can you pop in the lamp for about 60 seconds you see when you key it 10 seconds first you don't let the clients like lay the hands like still and after 10 seconds when it's set already you ask them to just rock the hand back and forth to make sure that the crystals will cure even on the edges of it so like on the base of the crystal so you see we have so many a picture of three or four weeks from our clients will continue and post it up there for to share with all of you to see how great it is gonna stay on Three different look in just a no time. I like this one. It looks really good. If you missed that earlier, how I achieved this look for fusioning, no hustle, no stress from about fusioning because you said, why are you always doing it and it's always bleeding your colors? With our colors, it doesn't have that issue at all. It's really pigmented and you just need to feel drop. You already create the really nice look with like literally no time. And I'm saying literally, it's like, I'm like I mean it. I'm so excited and we did like on Saturday we did a lot of like um, color uh, acrylic with liquid can powder hey Brad how are you sweetie thanks so much for tuning in don't forget to tune in for Vicky she's going live in a little bit shortly so right now it's 7 30 on center uh, central standard time so it's, it's which is being is 8 30 in Eastern time so after we'll go finish live, then Vicky will go right in. So Vicky will share with all the different tip and trick. When I got an opportunity to share with you, but then Vicky got so much great ideas that I can't wait. So does uh, Brad. He did a past two live videos. So if you get a chance to follow him, connecting with him is Brad Holden. Is at Brad Holden is B-R-A-D-H-O-L-D-E-N. Hey Studio 741, hi sweetie. Thank you so much for tuning in. We miss you. I am going to using one of the Crystal Best Friend in uh, Trifectas. This, if you really like frustrated about my like, crystal keep popping off, your clients like so tired of, oh my God, Nancy, I love them. It looks so gorgeous as you're doing it, but you're not gonna stay because it keeps, you know, like stuck into my hair. All my socks, my beautiful scarf, it's keep like pulling all of, you know, stuff. This, that's what you probably want to need it. I would tell them, nope, they're solos and sold. Like, we can do your crystal placement now. It doesn't bother you even once. So I'm using this to check every edges and the gap of the crystal. If I feel the scratchy, Right here, I'm squeezed just good enough amount. You don't need to do a lot. You can see that one bottle will last you a long time. But if your bottle will last you one month, which is congratulations that you did awesome. You was like did good business with the crystal placement. It's great. Like usually when you're doing it with this, it will really seal good 99% of all of the gap and then the edges and the clients will never get the issue at all. Like the clients, is, our clients are so happy now. Oh my goodness, it looks great. It stays shiny. None of them come off and it doesn't catch the hair at all. So they can still do a normal activity. You see that? So when I do, I squeeze right al along with the edges of the crystal. So then any gaps and any edges that usually it feel automatically is blending in and feel all the gaps so then that's why the it doesn't go on the top i don't feel on the top of the crystals because you see that how i don't know how your end but my end is so freaking gorgeous i say it, i mean it you're probably gonna see some of this nails like showcase in the shows when we we'll come there it's so gorgeous even like i didn't wipe it off the residue from the wax you can still see so shiny Hi, Argo, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. So I'm gonna pop this into the lamp for about 60 seconds. Close the cap because you don't want them to get clogs and spills. So you close it and you can place right in the station. As long as in your station is a nice cool place with no sun directed it, then it will last you for a long time. 
I'm so excited. Today we had some great, like three cute designs. Seeing like a really, I have to say quick, fast, easy, and professionals. Like you can really offer this in your clients at your salon. And uh, it literally take you like a no time on each nails. So I'm so excited. And don't forget to connecting with uh, Vicky uh, Jensen is at Vicky. I will spell it out. V-I-C-K-I-J-E-N-S-E-N. -E Vicky Jensen. She all going to go live. And she, if you listen to this lady, she gets such a great idea. It's so much to learn from her. She got great tip and trick for beginners and for even advanced. So, this is something that you can add it on your service as your salon and do not hair test because sometimes you think like you will wonder like, oh, the client's not going to doing it. You know, literally like in three years ago, we didn't offer much of the crystal and now our clients love it. And then our clients is the value of it. And like, okay, that looks great. I want that design. So I did this look is really cool. I did the, um, uh, this one is chromatic art. And then I did fusioning, chromatic art, and on the top of this, I use crystals placement. And then this is chamfer four and crystal placement. Beautiful. This is great for combination if you want to do three of them in one set. Or you can do in like, in like red colors and one of them as an accent now. I think it's either way, you will never go wrong with that. So I'm so excited to see your creates, you know, like your creativity. And do not forget to share and tag us at Glitz Accessory and such. So then we get an opportunity to feature your beautiful work. And thank you so much. Thank you, Isuli. Thanks so much. What gel you use for our diamond? So we're using condensed glue gel, Isuli. And as I shared earlier, if you're first time uh, tuning in our live video, welcome to our live video brought to you by Glitz Accessory and such. And my name Nancy. I'm so excited to have you here. And we're using this, and it's a great um, bundle together, and it's worked well. So if you miss it earlier, you can always like replace it with the story for Instagram. Uh, we're using condensed glue gel first and do not care and float it. No wipe top coat on the top. They work so well compatible together. And then all of the clients that have a crystal will last good three weeks, four weeks, up to six weeks with, you know, even dragon scale. And then after that, you can place glue gel first, no wipe top coat, and then you can place crystal the way you like it. After you're happy with this, you pop in the lamp for 60 seconds and then also you're going to using a precision glue to go any edges of the crystal so it seal all the gap and edges of the crystals and will keep them nice without catching on the client's hair and also you get really cute uh, crystal jar with mega mix all different sizes and all different crystals great for beginner great for you to like start playing with this and as you check this one out and then you can see all different um, designs gonna come along with uh, hundreds of different shape for that so if you have to get one item to try it out from our website like i would you know recommend this you will never go wrong with this and it was all such a really good size so it will last you a long time on your station this is gonna be your crystal best friend you will thanks to it because it will keep your clients crystal stay on their nails is so long to the point that they come in and say nancy uh we need the new nails so crystal have to come off because they're not coming up, so we have to really like get it off. Uh, but they're so happy it didn't have any catching on their hair or their clothes, so great. If you have one item, you have to pick it out. That if you only need to do two items, I would do this one of collection of Chan for There are so many, we have so many of them. If you don't want, we don't want you overwhelming. Pick one of the favorite Chan for Foy set. It, and then you want to get it with your combo with your chan for foys i hold chan for foy because they are going so well together like if you see all the different literally it's not the video you see me doing live with you in front of you and here for 30 seconds and i place any pieces of chan for foy it chan for completely for me it's never disappointed me at all even once unless i don't press it firmly but most of the time, my press is really nice, and it's, it's completely chanfer with, like, no heritation at all. So if you need to two items out of it to make a really fast look, and also, you can, like, if you are looking at the section of uh, fusioning, 
Again, talking about fusioning, no stress. If you pick one fusioning, pick any of them you like, and you can create any look like this as you're watching my live video. And you just need to pick one color. And also, here's the key. Your crystal clear, which is solution, won't let that happen to blending out so nice and perfectly. So if you're doing like, you don't have to have a hundred of things. But if you need to get things like it's three items I'm using today for that, you can achieve this look literally in like a few minutes. So thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in tonight. And my live video is out, I think. Sorry, Instagram. Hello, Instagram. Sorry, it was like 60 minutes was out. So I just want to hop in to say bye to everyone. And um, don't forget to check out. As I said earlier, if you are interested in to being a part of doing a fashion week in New York with a really nice like experience uh, for a lot of different designers. So please DM us with your full name and your email address so then we can get back to you. For this season, I mean, it's going to be this season is coming in February. So if you are in the area, if you are close to New York or really want to get as a hands-on experience of the backstage in New York and would love to work with our team, uh, don't hesitate to DM us your full name, your email address so we can get back to you. Also, another cool thing is... Um, for our class, regarding to our class in New York City, we're gonna have in February 9 with one of our um, great ambassadors, um, awesome ambassadors, Vicky Jensen, myself, and also with Patty Yankee, it's one of my mentors, and she's also a celebrity nails artist. We'll have so many variety of uh, uh, techniques to cover for a basic crystal placement to advance and also we will share with you all the tip and trick how to promoting your business how to approaching and a crisis for the clients who are doing your service how to price your crystal with your client to be fair for you and your clients and how to adv advertising and promoting through social media how to take a proper pictures on the client's nails and also and so on so many for in 10 six hours so don't forget to check it out link uh to check out the class in the bio if you do have any question don't don't hesitate to just dm us or email us or any question email at info at glitz accessory and such Dot com and you can call us regarding to the product if you have any question at 206-771-5086 or you can DM us on both Facebook and Instagram. Great. Okay, Vicky, so she said she's going to be live in about 9.15 of your Eastern time, right? It, uh, your time. So it's in about half an hour. Vicky will be live. So don't forget to tune in because you don't want to miss this lady live. So she has such a great idea. Also, Brad's going live on Tuesday, which is tomorrow. So Brad have a, such a great idea for beginner as well. And I'm so thrilled and excited to see these two amazing people going to do and share with all of you. So it's Vicky. Uh, IG is V-I-C-K-I Jensen. Also, Brad is this B-R-D-H-O-L-D-E-N. So both of them are going to be live in shortly. Well, Brad's gonna be live tomorrow night. Vicky gonna go live shortly. So thank you so much. Thanks so much, Painted by Purple. I will see you in a little bit and tuning in for Vicky. Tiger Lady, hello, sweetie. If you missed my live video, please um, just head over and watch the story. There's such a great live tutorial tonight and I'm so excited, I'm so enjoy with you. And thanks so much for all the love and the support. Fancy fingers. Hello, sweetie. So please rewatch the live videos earlier. And I will definitely see you tomorrow. And tomorrow, Brass will live. And also, I am going live as well. But tonight, I'm so excited to see Vicky going live. So don't forget to check out the class and send us information if you're interested in to working in a fashion week in New York. Uh, DM us your full name and your email address. And don't forget to check out the class. It, it's the link in the bio. So thank you. I love you all. We'll see you tomorrow. And we'll see you again uh, with Vicky Jensen. Bye.